everybody, this is Nia Fader, and I'm here with a weekly astrological message. This time for the time between September 25th and October 3rd, 2021. Here I talk about celestial influences that affect all of us, all zodiac signs. And of course, we have to remember there's an interplay between our own natal chart and the sky. And sometimes we could go through times or days that are very stressful for others, but are wonderful for us because the sky have a beautiful dance with our own chart and vice versa but generally there's an energy in the sky and that's what i talk about so what's the energy like over this week well there's a beautiful combination between inspiration creativity and spirituality to practicality and realism it's a good time to harness both of these influences for forward movement that doesn't feel too dry and achy on the 25th we have mars plans of energy trining saturn it's a great time for us to actually overcome. It's a great influence for us to actually help us overcome hurdles that have stood our way in the, pa in the past and direct our energy in a much more mature and strategic fashion. A day after that, the moon joins in and creates a grand air trine. A grand air trine is always a good time for mental energy. And this time, <clears throat> we could definitely, you know, have epiphanies. We could have understandings regarding how we should do things better and innovate our ways. And actually, there are two kites created in the sky at that time. One with the dragon's nodes and the other with the sun and Mars on the one hand and Chiron on the other. So certainly, this is a time of moving forward, not because we have disregarded our aches, pains and traumas, but because we have regarded them and we have tended to them and we are now wiser regarding what we shouldn't do more than what we should. Going on with a much more focused um, attitude on the rest of our way. Going on to the 27th, the day that Mercury actually starts a retrograde movement until October 18th and it's going to be retrograding from the 10th degree of uh, Libra until the 25th. Whenever Mercury is in retrograde, it's a time to actually ingest accumulated knowledge, to prepare yourself for a new cycle of interaction and action with your surroundings. It's not a time to stop breathing and stop whatever you're doing. It's not a time to be afraid. <laughs> My astrology teacher bought a car on the Mercury retrograde and I certainly signed to wonderful deals for houses on a Mercury retrograde. So as long as you check things thoroughly, no need to stop yourself from doing things. But however, you do need to be more patient because there's a lot more changes. Um, schedules could change, you know, times change. There are a lot more misunderstandings and just delays that we need to be patient about. Um, the 27th as well is a great day to keep, our, to keep our tact intact, to know our boundaries and not to overstep them in any kind of form with the Moon squaring Neptune and trining Jupiter that day. The 29th gives us two long-term influences that we can feel a week before and a week after. I'm talking about Venus planet of relationships and finances trining Neptune planet of illusion and the Sun trining uh, uh, Saturn the Sun is conjunct Mars right now and it's trining Saturn as well so let's talk about the Sun trying Saturn first this again amplifies what I've said before in the beginning about Mars trying Saturn this is a time of personal responsibility this is a time of personal maturity. This is a time where we can feel that our experience provides us with greater ability to maintain stability in our lives and reach the status we want. Um, it helps us actually keep ourselves in sync with what we've learned helps us and what we've learned not to do in the past. So what Saturn really tells us is your true freedom is within your boundaries, not without any. <laughs> Cherish your experience. And 
When Venus trines Neptune, that's the inspiration, that's the imagination, that's the creativity, that's the spirituality I was talking about. <clears throat> and it's definitely a great time for heightened romances. Just, you know, keep it in check and make sure you are um, staying attached to the ground. Um, but there's, you know, a line connecting you there to the ground and that you're not overlooking things or being too naive. On the 30th, Venus is going to square uh, Jupiter. This kind of influence, again, is great for having fun. It's great for having fun within relationships. Sometimes we can make a lot of money through a lot of work, but suddenly make a lot of money. But other times we could be spending a lot of money. We could be overeating. We could be overindulging. Or we could be untactful and vulgar. So these are things to watch out for. Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to square Pluto a day after. And this is something we talked about in previous videos. Is this, you know, is, is part of this Mercury retrograde cycle. Definitely time for revelation. Unveil, unveiling of new information. Um, seeing the truth um, and also a time we need to watch out from cruel words this is a time that we could get very angry with people and very critical it's a time that conspiracy th theories could raise their head again and so on and so forth and of course these are all influences that last a few days before a few days after the second of October Venus sextiles Pluto. This is a time that we could transform our relationship with money, transform our relationship with ourselves, transform our relationship with our partner, and actually intensify and deepen it, creating better value. And on the third, we have the Sun and Mars opposing Chiron. Definitely a sensitive time, you know, and again, remember a few days before, a few days after definitely a sensitive time a time to be very mindful of not hurting ourselves or others it's a time to <clears throat> understand what in our actions is actually hurting us in the long term and what is actually helping us in the long term and to if you want distill our actions and remain with those who are better for our futures for our future even if some of the disregarded action was great in the past, doesn't mean it needs to be part of our future. This is a time for self-healing, for the healing of love in general in our lives, and to understand better how, how can we hurt ourselves less in our lives. Well, I want to remind you all that we are 35% off on all readings and consultations with me and of course private lessons and these prices are going to go up soon so if you want to contact me all the details are the slide at the end i want to thank you for sharing this and commenting it exposes the video to more people this is neil filer signing out may we all live long and prosper Bye bye